Hi everybody, it's April from Banana Moon Studio. I am sharing today a tutorial video to show you how to make a, a pattern of mine. It's called One Up Winter Set. It includes a, an ear warmer headband, a cowl, and a set of mittens that all match and are made in the same yarn. I'm going to start uh, showing you how to make the mittens in this set and they begin with a ribbed cuff. The ribbing in that cuff is the same as the ribbing which is like the whole stitch pattern for both the headband and the cow. I'm going to be working in Plymouth Yarns Gina Chunky and this is what I have left after making the set. Um, this, let me see what, this is color number 102 which is called Brights. And uh, anyhow, so I'm going to be working that. I'm going to be using, uh, to begin with, my size 9 circulars. You can use DPNs for this, and then what that means double pointed needles. I actually prefer DPNs myself, but I don't have them in this size, and I'm too cheap to buy them. So I'm going to use the circulars that I already have. I'm going to be using a very long cord on my circulars. Uh, so that I can do a method called magic loop and you could use circulars that are very small around they need to be smaller around than the circumference of your mitten cuff so like smaller around than the circumference of your wrist pretty much I, I don't know if they make circulars that small maybe there may be some that are that small but anyhow um, so either you can use really small circulars for this or you can use a long circular for magic loop like I'm doing or you can use double pointed needles if you have those uh, size 9 this pattern is available for free on my blog or if you just really want to support my business you can buy a PDF on Etsy Ravelry and love knitting for this pattern and I'll have that link in the description box below this video but again it's called Wynette Winter Set. Um, let's see what else do we need to know. I don't think there's anything else so I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, start showing you how to make the mittens. Alright so I have my size 9 circulars and I'm using a really long cord between them. I don't remember exactly how long this one is. It probably is around three feet, maybe total length from needle tip to needle tip. And you just have to estimate, because I always use a long tail cast on, so I have to estimate how much of this I need. I kind of try to do around 18 inches for 20 stitches, and I'm going to cast on 32. So I'm just going to do about maybe a foot and a half, two times. Hopefully that'll work out. And long tail cast on. You have your, you know, your tail end here and this other end going back to the yarn. And you're kind of stretching a loop across your thumb and index finger and holding the two ends down here. And then you put your needle here, then under this. Oh, let's see under there and then it has to go around this and then it has to go back through this loop and then you pull those not really tight but snug and that makes the first two and what did I say I need to cast on 32 stitches so I'm going to continue now this way under around and through under, around, and through. And keep doing that until I have 32 stitches on my needle. Okay, count again because I think I'm done. Two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. Okay, so I've got the right number, and my tail is pretty much the perfect length. It's not too long, not too short, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so since I'm going to be working in a loop or a method called Magic Loop, I have to split these stitches in half. And so I'm going to count half of 32 is 16. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay, and so now that I've found the halfway point, I'm going to pull the cable out like this. And it's kind of split the stitches in half. And I've got this big loop sticking out here. The next thing I have to do is start stitching here because this was the last stitch I cast on. So I need to start stitching here so that I'm working in the round. So at this point, I'm going to pull this needle out of the stitches on the back. And I have a small loop here. I want to make sure that my stitches are lined up, not twisted. And I do that because there's kind of this uh, you know ridge of stitching here and I want to make sure that's on the bottom on both sides here and that it's not twisted over here and it looks good so I'm gonna hold them like this and now I have to have the yarn I'm working with in the right place which I think is going to be here Okay, so now I'm going to be working in knit one, purl one, ribbing. So, I'm going to start by knitting, oh, we're going to have to pull this here. Okay, start by knitting this first stitch. So go in knitwise, yarn around, kind of make this one snug so that it's not going to be real loose. Knit this one, yarn to the front, purl this one. Oh, I always have a hard time keeping my but anyway, purl this stitch, knit this one, yarn to the front, purl. Yarn to the back. Knit, yarn to the front, purl, yarn to the back, and knit. Okay, so we keep doing this over and over. Yarn to the front and purl it and then yarn to the back and knit. And it's gonna be the same thing all the way around. needle and I'm going to purl it. All right so at this point I have to turn and he should still be down. Okay and I'm going to, oh, what did I do? Was I supposed to do that? Yeah okay. I need this needle to be in these stitches and this one to come out. I feel like I, I need to flip this so that, yeah, because I should have the needle with the stitches on them in the front. There we go. Let's get that in the right place. Right there. All right, the last stitch I purled so now I'm ready to knit. 
and the needle that has the stitches on it that I'm about to do should be in the front so if it's not you kind of got to flip it so it'll be in the right place okay now we knit sorry about that airplane same thing here Sometimes when this cord over here starts getting kind of tangled in in the way, you got to rotate your knitting needles and you can move the uh, cord so it's more out of the way. stitch is a pearl. Alright, so at this point I want to turn my work and the part I've already stitched is supposed to be down inside. Alright, now, this needle, I'm sliding this cord through so I can bring this needle up and put it through these stitches. And this needle, I'm going to pull out and sew my two sets of stitches for my cuff are arranged on this cord and on this needle. But I'm just going around in a continuous circle, so now it's time to knit again with this free needle. Okay, so now we knit. Um, I find that this magic loop method, it gets a little less finicky as you go, where like once I've got an inch or two of work here, uh, it should move along pretty smoothly. But as you're starting a new project using the magic loop method, it can be kind of tricky to figure out where exactly your needles and your cords should, should sit. So have patience with it at first and it will get easier as you get further into your project. the end of that needle so we turn it okay and then we slide this needle into the stitches that we're about to do and pull this needle out And the work I've already done should be down below my needles. I can tell
so because I'm coming back to where my end is here that I'm just about to finish my second round of stitching. Okay, and again, turn it. That work wants to, what I've already made wants to pop outward and it needs to be, it needs to be down. So I have to kind of tuck it back in there. Eventually, like I said, as I've gotten a little further, it'll stay where it's supposed to be better. Pull this needle out. Okay, and so this is how this is looking. Um, I, let's see, what is my pattern? I need to just continue in this way until the cuff measures three inches from the cast on edge. So, um, I'm sure you don't want to watch me sit here and knit three inches of cuff. And I'm probably actually not going to make it three inches right now just for the sake of this tutorial, but I would like to make it a little bit longer. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial on how to make the cuff for the mitten of the Winnet Winter Set. I will be making additional videos for the rest of the mitten construction. And as soon as the next one is ready, it will be the suggested video in the um, next video box on the end screen that you see as the video is ending. Uh, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and check the description box for links to this pattern, to my website, and to subscribe to my newsletter, which you will get two free patterns when you do that. Thanks!